Hello and welcome to the studio and thank you very much for joining me here today. Okay, so I'm asked uh, many a time, I'm going to take my hat off actually. I'm asked, look I'm going bald, see? <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. So I'm asked, uh, how do we actually start a painting? Um, well, if you've never painted before, you need, to, you need to think of some elements. You need to break your canvas or cardboard or whatever you paint on. You need to break it down. Welcome, thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. Um, so, so I'm painting this brush, portrait today because I just find it easier, but you could use this in a landscape as well. And we want to go about a quarter of a way down or so. You could have a really high, a lower rising and a high sky, but I'm thinking of maybe just, just above halfway like that. I'm going to just draw a line there like that, okay? And I want to come down to about that much there and put another line in like that. So you can see I've divided my 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 working area into three sections there. So what I was thinking of doing is this could be the sky area and we could have maybe a mountain or something like this that could come down there like this. This is going to be a very basic, simple painting today. And then in this area there, we're going to have some maybe fields or something like that, even with a few little trees just to break it up or something like that. So you can always already see what I'm doing now is I've broken this up into three sections. You've got the distance, the midground, and the foreground. So the foreground we want to try and make interesting, but we want to be able to to take your eye into the painting. And one of the best ways of doing that is a path or a road. And always start off around about there and come around like that. And these these paths can come around like that. Because it's wider there than and, and narrow there. That all already all of a sudden just drawing that, you can see that your eye is drawn in. It's a bit like railway tracks when you when you draw railway tracks, if you put railway tracks like this, and as you come closer to you the the, the these sleepers, what they call sleepers, these these bits in between the rails get wider and wider and as they go away in the distance they get narrower and narrower and narrower and that gives you that illusion. That gives you that illusion of of, of depth and, and perspective and stuff. And when we could add something then as a focal point, what we call a focal point, we could put a tree or something there. Um, we could another couple of trees here maybe. Um, but that's that's the idea. So let's get some paint on the canvas now if you've never painted before just give it a go paint with me um and have fun and don't worry about the outcome it doesn't matter what this is going to look like this is not about um perfection this is about learning a process and so i'm going to get some i've got a very messy palette i've just done a seascape painting so i thought i'd use these colors up um, so I've just got some ultramarine blue, some Prussian blue. I've put a bit of green on my palette, some yellow, some red, some um, a, a, a black and burnt umber and some white. That's just a colour I've mixed. So I'm just mixing, just mix some blue and white together. It's an ultramarine blue, if, if, if you want to know. And then just put this blue in the sky. Now on the top of the sky, always on the top of the sky, just that little bit darker. Because that will allow you to create depth as well. Just that little bit of sky there. And as you come down, then bring that, bring that light that on light that light that a little bit more light in the sky, and that just gives you that illusion. And that's that's all painting is. Painting is just an illusion to the eye. There's no right, there's no wrong way to paint. Remember that I don't teach to paint. I just show what I do. I don't teach because if I teach people to paint you're only you're only passing on bad habits because there's a lot of artists out there uh, but it doesn't matter what you do in in life if, if you you always pass on your habits to other people and i and i hate that i i like to see people create their their own ways and their own methods i'm just adding a little bit more blue just to darken that sky up i just want to I just like to see people create and, and be inspired by paintings. I This is why I don't paint too much detail and stuff like that, especially on YouTube. It's, this is just, I want to get, I want to encourage people just to paint. 
just paint for fun you don't have to paint for selling you don't have to be uh, a, a well-known artist you don't have to do this to earn a living nothing like that you just want to paint to relax and paint to relax so i'm going to put a couple of clouds in the sky so what i'm going to get is a little bit of burned umber and a little bit of white there we go Burn, burned umber and white just make that like it's like a, a very like pale creamy type of b b brown i quite like this that's what i made the gesso with so we're going to put some just get your brush get the edge of your brush like this and just fluff in some just let the brush do what it wants to do does that look like a cloud it does feather the bottom off smooth the bottom off like that just go around in tiny little circles like this and just feather the bottom off like that there we are, there's one there's one there's one done put another little one there like this i can come down there like that there we go we could put a, an almighty one here if we wanted to. Let's put an almighty one there like this. Feathering in, feathering in, feathering in, feathering in. Now the thing is with clouds, what you'll find is the further the clouds are away from you, like the railway tracks, the smaller these things are going to be. So if you just, just drag your brush just across your painting surface like this, there's going to be some pencil marks on that and stuff you'll see on you so don't worry about it this is more of a this is more of a lesson rather than a painting the closer together they'll be the tighter they'll be to a point where all of a sudden you won't know where the sky is and where the clouds begin or end so you've got them that distance there already got that distance and then get a little bit of white paint just on the tip of your brush like that there's a little bit of white paint just on the tip of your brush let's just put let's de let's decide that the lights come in this way okay and uh, don't let me forget that because sometimes i forget which way the light is coming and we'll just put some highlights on these clouds like this and if you want to know which way the light is coming put the put the highlights on the clouds say left right to left and then when when you when you forget which way your light is going just check your clouds a bit a little bit of a bit of light just the smallest amount of brush a paint on your brush brush on your paint if you want smallest amount of brush on your paint or paint on your brush whichever works for you I mean we just put a few little clouds in just like that just like that there we go so if you've never painted before give this a try please give it a try because you'll never know and don't be don't beat yourself up paintings and paintings are paintings at the end of the day we mustn't beat ourselves up because you know we all try to be um a van gogh or something like that or aspire to be one of the best artists in the world but you know even even van gogh and all the other mar artists and masters all had to start somewhere they all had to be apprentices and things like that so all these skills are learned over many, 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 many years. But if I can just give you a, little, a few little tips just to get you started. And then you can show me one day, hopefully, how you've got on. And I'll be very happy. There we are. Just, just tap in the sky. In, and we, all of a sudden, we've got some wonderful clouds in the sky. And that is our sky then. So we need to get some green now. And don't forget, the further the way thing is, things are, the lighter they are. The closer they become, the darker they are. So let's just put some, let's just put some nice light green block of color then, like this. So put, follow along with me. There we are. I'm gonna put a little bit of bit of green in there like that. We'll get a bit of white in there. Let's just lighten that up a touch like that. I'll add in the white into that colour. Just to brighten it up. Brighten it up. Look at that. Last bright. So far away. You can't see any detail in it. Because you can't. You will look at you look at a field in real life, you won't see any detail in it, will you? All you'll see is a colour. All you see is a colour. Bring that down like this. 
Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Well, let's get a little bit of burned umber. A little bit of burned umber into that light colour we made for the clouds. Do you remember that colour we made for those clouds? Let's put this mountain shape. Just block it in like this. Don't worry about it to be too bad. Yeah, that too much. There we are. Bring that in there like that. And then let's put another. I don't know shape like this. You work. You do it your way. Whatever you. Whatever works for you. So we got some. We got some mountainy things over there. Let's get a bit of white. Let's lighten that up. So we said we were going to put some light on there. Let's touch in the light like that. I'm just going to change my brush, just going to smaller brush. Any brush will work, just a small brush, just to blend that in. So we got a little bit of light on that mountain range. There we are, like that. Too if it's too dark, just add a little bit more white. Let's just get a little bit of shape there, like that. There we go. So we've got some mountains, and we've got a we've got our first row of colour in there. We've done our clouds. I'm going to dry that off with a hairdryer. So if you've just tuned in or you've been spinning the the, um, the video forward, then what I am doing here today is teaching a very, very basic beginner's painting. Hopefully um, this will inspire you to start painting, get some, get some paint on the brush. I started painting uh, many, many years ago, but um, I quite enjoy painting just for your relaxation now rather than anything else. So what I'm going to do now is just put a few dots and dabs and just like this very very distant trees and bushes shrubs whatever a little bit darker a little bit darker then i need to put a bit of shadow in there let's get us some of this nice light green now that we made up and then just bring a bit of that in there like that just to bring that make it look as if it's a little bit shadowy there we go so you can see that already we got some distant trees and things and we could put some more in just here like this maybe something there like that there we go doesn't matter does it it doesn't matter have a bit of fun have a bit of fun there we go Boosh. that could be a bit closer that could be see a bit darker there we go. And then just mixing that in there like this. Just breaking that colour up a bit. And a little bit of this darker colour now coming in. Because I said that the closer you come, the darker things become. Let's so just add a little bit of shadow in there like that. Let's give it a little bit of depth. There we go. Just dry brushing that off there like that. There we go, that'll do. Will that do? Let's put another couple of bushes and things like that. There we go. Shh. A bit bigger there. Big trees there. You go up to them, they're really, really tall trees. There we are. So we've already established um, that section now. I'm going to get some burnt umber, a little bit of green, and now add a little bit of yellow to that. Just slightly darker, just slightly darker. And I want to put some bushes and things, just tapping the brush on. Watch how I'm doing the brush. There we go, just like, like that. There we go. Don't want 
a lot of detail, do we? See? Easy, isn't it? Just to create an easy painting. Now let's get a brush. Let's get our burned umber. And let's make this path or road or whatever whatever you whatever you reckon it is. I mean, let's just get that in there. So we know where we start in and where we end in and we'll be beginning and we've finished. <laughs> There we go, so that's blocked in. So that's going right behind there. Right down there, like that. Let's get our green. And our yellow. And let's just block this in, just like this. We want to make that a little bit smaller down there, so let's just block this path in. Everything makes sense in the end. All I'm showing today is an easy way of starting a painting. If you've never even picked up a brush before, you should you will be able to do this. You will do this. You can do this. Just following my steps. All I want to do is encourage you to try something. Because a lot of people struggle with greens and trees and skies and mountains and clouds and basically everything really. And um, what I'm trying to do today is try and to inspire you to at least pick up a brush and have a go. And see what you can come up with. I know when my mother started uh, many years ago, God rest her soul, I've, she's left me now, but I used to try and help her in the same way as I'm trying to help you today. So we need to think about colors as well, shapes and forms and stuff like that. But you know, we, we get in there, we, we got this, we've got this sort of um, scene going on now um i need to think about this this path a bit more so let's get uh i got a little bit of this black and burnt umber together i need to put a little bit of shadow just coming in just like that easy as peasy as that easy peasy and then down there Easy peasy. There we go. And we could get down the center then, start and then just. And hopefully. We can start to develop that. So what I'm going to do now is get a small brush, and this is another little tip. Let's put a little dot, a little line like that there, and we're going to put another little line there. And then we'll put another line just there like that, a little bit bigger. Should I put one there? No, I won't put one there. I'll put one by there. Maybe one by there. There we go. And then I'm going to put one by there. As I'm coming close, I'm doing slightly bigger lines, and this will be relevant in a second. Little line there, a bit a bit thicker. I'll put this one on a slight angle, like that. There's tiny lines. This one can be like this. The the the, sh the angle I'm doing these is is important to, 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 to trick the eye to make it look as if it's going in that way so you can see it looks like fence posts which they are fence posts they are fence posts so I'm trying to use the same type of brushes as well if I can so what I'm going to do now is put some 
bushes and things just like this. Just tapping our brush. A little bit darker that way. A bit more yellow. I want to brighten this, this area up a touch because the light's coming this way. I want to brighten this up. And then I want to brighten this bit up. As well. There you go. I want to put some So a bit of bit of green, a little bit of yellow, green, a little bit of yellow. A little bit of black, a little bit of green. Almost some bushes in. Trying to hide, trying to make um, I'm just trying to give me some bushes and things like this. There we go. Toppy top top. There we go. See? Okay, so we're getting there. Let's put some let's put some light over there. On this side, I wanna just push him down on the brush. A bit of green, a bit of yellow. I'm flicking up now. Because as we come in closer, we're seeing more grass and stuff. And that's picking up on the light as well. Just like that. So we can see it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Let's get a bit more. I tell you, that rain is coming down so hard out there. Tapping in a few things like that. Let's get a little bit of light on these. Wow. I hope you're painting along. I really do. Trying to get some light into this path area now. Just lightly brushing that. Light the, light the colour in. Just like that. And a little bit of moisture on my brush so I, it'll move about a bit. We'll come in there with a bit more shadow in a second. There we are. So, what we need to do now is let's get a tree in here. 
So we said we were going to put a couple of trees in, didn't we? So let's put a tree in. One there. We'll put another one in. There, like that. Put another one in there, like that. There we go. I'm going to put this almighty one in there, like this. There we go. Just get your brush. Let's mix some of this color up. And just dab it. Just dab it on. Just dab it on like that. We're not going to win prizes with this painting, but what we are going to do is learn a lot by doing this. We'll get to understand how the, your brush works, your paint is, and you're just going to have a little bit of fun with the whole process, just dobs and dabs. Think of the shape of that tree as well. You need to think of this tree. Some of those branches you're not going to see. You could get another brush then like this maybe if you've got one of these little brushes and we could put some dobs and dabs like this look see just make it easier for yourself there's dobs just dabs there's a tree there and well, there's another one down there We got another one there, we didn't we? We said And then we got another one just here. All of a sudden we've got this seen now some of the mountains you can't see the background that we did that green is virtually disappeared because we got trees in front of it so you could see that we need to we don't need to worry too much sometimes about different things we put some shadow in here as well there we are we can bring that shadow in we could make these posts a little bit bigger it depending on on that size of that tree really if you want to make that tree look a bit smaller make these a little bit bigger or, you know, vice versa, that our road is quite wide and it's narrowing right down there. But what we need to do now is need to get some yellow. Oh, my paint is all getting a bit messed up here, but it doesn't matter. I don't mind. I want to put some highlights on these trees now. Because we said light's coming this way. Leave that in shadow. See? Leave that in shadow. There we are. Let's get some... lights on your on your tree like that same over here we need to put some highlight on this highlight on this tree there I'm using a yellow you can use different colors of green to do this you can do this several times just to lift that up there we go we could get some yellow there now I'm gonna get some red to that some burnt umber make it like an a very dark orange look at that lovely color orange there it's like a very dark orange and we could start putting some grasses and things like this 
you know, we can't see them at the moment, but you will when we put highlights on them. Put some grasses in. A little bit of shadow there like that. Let's get our brush and maybe pick up a bit of this light. And then maybe it was raining or something like that. Maybe you've got a pool of water there. Get a touch of blue. Let's get a touch of this blue and Maybe there's a little puddle of water or something there like that. There we go. A little puddle of water. On that road. All wet. It's been raining. I like think it's been raining here today in Wales. Get a bit more of this shadow colour. Shadow that up a bit, like that. So don't forget shadows, highlights, shadows, highlights as well. That all helps create an illusion of depth and distance. lines there like that maybe there's just a couple of things just throwing a shadow across you've got this shadow coming across there then because the lights come in from that direction so just put a little shadow in just like that and that creates difference and depth let's get some white over here just make a lovely mess on your palette why not have a bit of fun enjoy put some grasses down like this and don't worry about what it looks like the trees are not perfect you know the sky isn't perfect it's not about perfection don't get hung up please don't get hung up on perfection and stuff like that just enjoy the painting first to get used to your brushes and you know when you're using lighter colors on top of darker colors you get this wonderful effect and depth and distance and you need to learn all this you need to learn all this first before you can start doing you know oops made a mistake rub it off you need to learn a lot first and that's what it's all about you know we could get a, a couple of rocks on the road like that a little bit of this light color then because the lights come in from this direction just put a little bit of light on top of them rocks that's like that we can bed them down then let's get a little bit of shadow just under those rocks that's like that bed them in Bed them in. Couple of rocks, like the rocks, bigger rocks. Shh. Who knows? Don't have any rocks and just paint them out like that. Shh. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Get some red. We could put some flowers in. Shh. Just like that. Couple of red ones there. You could have a couple of white ones. Let's go. We've got some daisies, maybe. Make this fence post a bit bigger. Make that one a bit bigger. Make that one a little bit bigger. Get your. Maybe there's a, a wire you can just about see there, like that. Get a little bit of light on this edge of this fence post like that. Put another little bit of light on that fence post. Put a bit of light on this tree because the light is catching. It's coming from this direction. 
little bit of light on that tree. There we go. Put a bit of highlight here and there. There we are. We could do the same thing there. We could put a little shadow or something. There's coming across there. Maybe not a shadow. That doesn't look like a shadow to me. But you can see what I mean. Wow, look at that. Already we get a another branch in. Maybe it's a little very light tree branch or something like that. There we go. Get back into our green and put some more green in. Put some more green in like this. Yeah, we have one. Put a little bird in the sky. And another little bird in the sky. A little bird in the sky. There we go. And all of a sudden, you've developed a wonderful painting. And if you've never painted before, give this simple, easy, basic painting a try. Um, it's just ideas um, that I've just thrown together using a, a, a bit of waste paint. I hope I hope you can um, work with that. Um, we could make this a bit big, thicker, actually. There we go. We could make that a little bit thicker. Uh, that looks a bit better. There we are. That looks a bit better now, being a bit thicker. But you you can see what I've tried to do there. Um, just play around, put some more highlights. You could put way more highlights on these trees if you want to just just to lift up a little bit of light try to keep the greens different you know so but play with on with that i hope that's in it being of use if you've never painted before give it a try and don't forget i upload hey, paintings every Greenwich Mean time let me know it's how you get on and i want to inspire loads of people to paint so don't forget so to click the notification bell and time. subscribe liking subscribing see you next time bye bye